Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Pet, and welcome to the first Midweek 180 of 2022. I hope you guys all had an amazing Christmas and New Year and a break. I'm sure many of you are back to work. But I am at home this week. I'm starting to plan all my things for the coming year. Lots of exciting things in the pipeline, I can assure you. But this is the first Midweek 180 of the year. Although the last Midweek 180 of last year has done over 22,000 views. That is by far and away the best number of views of any Midweek 180. And I don't know whether it's either because it was Christmas or because there was a picture of uh, the new Mini on the front and that drew, drew people in, but amazing, amazing uh, performance of last week's video. I hope this one does the same. Anyway, if you've not seen one of these before, this is my midweek update where I bring you my news views and information about upcoming reviews all filmed in one take. I'm going to put 180 seconds in the bottom left hand corner of your screen and that's it. A very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Okay, leader of the pack last time was Ben Higginson. Congratulations, mate. Joined in the magnificent seven by Paul Mead, Francois G, Ed Moses, Keith Evans, James Fernley, and Paul Murphy. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you'll be my leader of the pack next week. And the first seven comments, you will be in my magnificent seven. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Bib the Boulder, who was listening to the Midweek 180 on his ZZR 1400. <laughs> that is definitely a first. Hopefully you weren't watching it, but wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Uh, the question on last, the last Midweek 180 was what your Christmas plans were. Hopefully they all came off and you had a lovely, lovely time. This, this question this week, any New Year's resolutions, folks? Well, I have one. I am getting fit. I've got an eight-week plan. We've got a holiday coming up, and I want to look my best, so I'm basically nailing my nutrition, seeing my personal trainer a couple of times a week, riding my bike a lot and running a lot just to try and drop some kilos. But I'd love to know what your New Year's resolutions are. Oh, and I'm doing dry January as well. But heaven, don't, don't worry. Dry January is safe because Tankery do 0% alcohol gin. Uh, anyway, uh, my motorsport fix at the moment is being uh, is coming from the Dakar. That's running from the 1st to the 14th of January. Having spent some time in the desert in Morocco last year, I really got into the whole concept of, of Dakar. We got Cyril Dupre gave us a, our kind of pre-tour chat. So I'm really loving the um, action from Dakar at the moment. But I wanted to talk to you about this. So this is the Mercedes EQXX, and it is an electric car with 1,000 kilometers of range, or 600 miles, depending on whether you're metric or imperial. It's a four-door coupe from Mercedes, but there's some really interesting things in here. So it's got a just under 100 kilowatt battery pack, but that only weighs 480 kilos. It runs on a 900 volt system, so it's really aimed at mega rapid charging, even faster than a Porsche Taycan, apparently. But it's not all about 0 to 60 and drag strip times. This car is built a lot around efficiency. It's got a mega low drag coefficient, but it's only got 204 horsepower. So it'll do 0 to 60 in six or seven seconds, which let's face it is fine for most of us. But the really interesting thing is efficiency wise, if I drive an electric car and it does three miles per kilowatt hour, I get super excited. This thing, six miles per kilowatt hour, uh, and that's where it gets the huge amounts of range from. It's even got solar panels on the roof, which predominantly power some of the internal systems, but apparently it'll give you maybe as much as an extra 15 miles per day, um, which I find absolutely amazing. So how much is it gonna be, and when can you buy one? Well, you can't, because it's, it's a concept. Having said that, a lot of the technology in it will filter down into the rest of the Mercedes EV range. But I just think that's a super, super interesting car. I could talk about it for far more time than I've got today. Oh, talking about time today. I've just ran out. Um, but um, Friday's video, um, I haven't filmed it yet. I'm gonna film it this afternoon and tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna do my review of the Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid that I've got, my current Hendy car. Um, I had it over Christmas, we took it away. We did uh, nearly 1,500 miles in it, a range of different types of driving. So I think I've got a really good handle on that car now. So I'm gonna bring you my thoughts on the car. Uh, it's good points, it has many. It's bad points, it has a few, so tune in on Friday for the RAV4. It's a brilliant car, it's just, a, uh, it's got a few things that really, really get on my get on my nerves, but 
Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, massive thanks to all of you for the support. We hit 130,000 subscribers. I didn't quite make my end of year target. I did it on the 3rd of January, but I'm still super happy with that. Plenty of exciting stuff to come this year. So make sure you stay tuning in on Monday and Wednesday and Friday at six o'clock. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye. If you've enjoyed that one, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, which is this Friday at six o'clock for my review of my Toyota RAV4 plug-in hybrid. I'll see you on that one, guys. You take care. Drive safe.